that certain topics of discussion may not be comfortable for all listeners. Certain viewpoints may not reflect those of our partners, sponsors, affiliates, our hosts, or that of our guests. We would like to encourage everybody to keep a respectful and open climate of discussion for all topics, no matter how disturbing they may be. So viewer discretion is advised. It does not matter where you stand, nor what it is you feel is grand. Magic is all around. Magic is never gone. And it is more than you will ever know. And trust us. And trust her. For here you will find that the lost of magics have never disappeared. Hello guys and welcome to our Friday evening show with PWI and SAU Network with the Association of Bold and Bonkers. All of our networks and TV and radio supporters, thank you very much for being there and our sponsors obviously as well. And to obviously all of you amazing guys that are in the room, it's really good to have you all come in and come and support me. I have got my YouTube open so that I can see what you guys are writing. So today's show, guys, I am bringing you an investigation that I have done myself several times with my investigation team when I first started out in the paranormal field on YouTube. And this place is a very interesting place and it's got a lot of history for some tragedies this place is also very well known for witchcraft. People do go up there and do things such as seances and very dark magic and things up there, which has caused some very negative and bad energies to be there as well as the good. A lot of the energies that associate in this place, as well as these negative energies, are a lot of children's spirits. There is a particular lady as well that is in white that was witnessed by me and some investigators I must say that I've had some pretty awesome investigations and stuff, but this one is something that's always been on the top of my list for experiences and activity and stuff. And tonight I'm going to be sharing with you about this location and I've got some videos of my investigations. I will warn you, this was at the beginning when I first started out, so the camera quality is not great. But you can hear the stuff that's going on. I'll explain because I remember it like it was yesterday. Um, I've got some EVP bits to um, let you listen to and um, some picture evidence as well with some really cool orbs and other bits in it. Um, so the location that I'm going to be talking about is very haunted and is known as Cold Christmas this is a location that is an old church that is in ruins now, but is still sta- the tower of it is still standing. It is said that the negative energies sit within inside this tower. You can no longer enter the tower anymore because they've actually blocked it off because of how dangerous it is and because of the things that go on there. And the fact that there are people that go up there and disrespect the uh, the grounds, which is why there is so much negativity there. So... I hope that you do enjoy this show about Cold Christmas. This will be about an hour and a half or just over, guys. So I hope that you are going to enjoy it. As I always do, I will share out all the content that I'm reading out to you guys so that you can go and look at that. And I can also put the video links to the videos that you're going to see here today. If you want to watch them on your own, I'll put that into the chats as well. So let's get on to the show. So first, we'll start off with me reading out a little bit of history about Cold Christmas and then we'll go into showing you the clips which lovely Chris will be bringing up when I ask him. So first we'll start off with the the readings and the bits that I've got about it. So here it goes. And a big welcome to all of you in the room, it's really nice to have you here. Cold Christmas, derelict old church in rural Hertfordshire is surrounded by dark tales of ghosts and nasty goings on, says Andy Kaplan. 
rundown of recent impression of the church at the Appetite Lane village of Cold Christmas. Embedded with the physics of most local Hertfordshire folk, if there was one location in the country that is renowned for being historically haunted, this will be it. So much so, in fact, that I, until recently, it was somewhat of a yearly tradition for unruly youngsters to venture up there in, a, in the dark each Halloween for a bit of a rave up. This has recently been curtailed by the boys in blue. So why the hype over this seemingly innocuous, simple country church? Why is it called Cold Christmas? Cold Christmas is <clears throat> located next to an ancient village of Thumbridge, mentioned in the Doomsday Book. Its name derives from the ridge belonging to the god Thor. The reason behind the name Cold Christmas is most definitely a controversial topic among ghost hunters and historian, historians alike, with its array of myths and legends which can make it hard to discern facts to fiction. Here's where it gets interesting. It is said that while most medieval churches were built up on east-west alignment, St Mary's Church, which is what it was known as, that is now known as Cold Christmas, was built incorrectly on the north to the south alignment, which in some facts means and is looked at as being built as being a satanic church because it's it's facing the wrong way so they say it's meant to be facing hell or or whatever and this is why a lot of black magic and very dark magic has been done at this place because of the location of the church this drew accusations of being associated with the signs of the devil and rumors of black magic and witchcraft soon developed along with ghost stories of tortured souls and the distant screams of chil young children. Church and shadow of its former self. It's hard to know when these legends first begun, but the church itself is a shadow of its former self. The main structure of it has long since been dismantled, leaving only the tower, but the surrounding gravestones remain. And some of them are really, really old, guys. Um... The tower is now completely boarded up with no public admittance, anyone anywhere to be seen, which is probably a good thing as it is a protected historical landmark. And it is, it's, it is put down as an historical landmark. And I think it's in like, it's either the first or the second stages of that. So it's, it's, it's a pretty important piece of history for England. Despite its profits, supernatural reputation to be brutally honest my intuitive impressions of the church were particularly particularly to avoid walking around and taking pictures i didn't really pick up anything of the paranormal nature at all in fact it seemed quite tranquil i am fully aware however that spiritual vibrations can change as the darkness draws near i've only visited the site during the day time so i'm sure by night time it would have a altogether more sincere vibe although i don't have any particular personal experiences at cold christmas i do in fact have a anchordial story from a client of mine who i did a reading for many years ago teenage rite of passage it's almost a rite of passage for young hertfordshire teenagers to at some point visit Cold Christmas to see if anything spooky happens. My client described an account of where she decided to do extreme, exactly that with a group of friends in one of their cars. She said that it started off the 
Pacific settings. It was a cold, wintry evening, dark and rain, uh, rather misty. On whom they dared to venture along to Cold Christmas Church, and so off they went. It was a while they were driving down an icy, narrow country lane, close by that they noticed what looked to be an old vintage 1920s style motor car with two people sitting in the front, staring blankly ahead. They appeared to be dressed in vintage looking clothing, which I assume became visible when it lit up by their own headlights. They considered this to be extremely creepy and out of place. Why was it why was it there and in such a remote location? Who were they? Why was it all 1920s and why were they just start staring blankly ahead? In the interrupted explorers decided more or less to ignore it, carry on to the church and then drive back to the same way to see if the curious car was still there. From what I remember, they had a look around the allegedly haunted church site, found it a bit spooky, but didn't find much else. I believe they reported hearing a few distant whispers, but were more, were far more perturbated by what had, had they had just witnessed at a nearby roadside. When it come to return, returning home, they mastered up the courage to travel back to the same route and to their abs absolute astonishment were freaked out by the same 1920s car at the same roadside location with the same odd couple staring straight ahead. Apparently, they floored the car home and didn't know what to make of the entire incident. Ghostly strange happenings at cold Christmas. Apparently this isn't the first ghostly tale of a strange things happening in the nearby country lanes. I have heard over the years of other people reporting such oddities. What I find most interesting in the above case is that judging by her admisria, she was dead serious. Pardon the pune in what they encountered. This raised notions such as possibilities of self-reality reality creation. They had the mindset of wishing to find spooks and whatever that the, 20, the 1920 car and its strange occupants were all about this may well have had something to do with the experience of the paranormal. We need to ask, was the supernatural aspect of this trip, in fact, somewhat manifested into their reality by their beliefs in it? Did they generally generate it themselves? Over the years, I am increased increasingly on my... Over the years, I am increasing, increasingly of the opinion that a lot of the results of alleged hauntings and ghost hunting activities are in fact pronounced by the intentions and the openings of those involved. What you seek, you find. So with Cold Christmas, the story behind it is that Cold Christmas was obviously St Mary's Church. And there once was a village that was known as Thunderbridge. Now, the rumours to why the, the church actually got the name Cold Christmas is in fact meant to be due to do with some children and the village. There was one year in Cold Christmas in this village where they got a very bad storm and they had a very bad time with the weather over, over the Christmas period. And with these guys being, some, most of them being quite poor, they were living in quite rough situations now a lot it was said that a lot of the children that were in the village were supposed to have caught very bad colds along with a mysterious illness that they couldn't explain and these children lost their lives on christmas a lot of the children lost their lives on christmas day which is why the church was given the name cold christmas 
It's also said that the church was made up by the rich residents of um, Thunderbridge. So all of the clients and the people that were rich and wealthy first made that church so that they could bury their loved ones there. But as this incident happened and many lives were apparently lost, they opened the church to other people as well. Now, there are graveyards and gravestones there that are marked, which I believe would be of those that were more of the wealthy state. But there are meant to be other people that are buried there as well, but they are not named and there are no no gravestones in that, which would indicate the poor people. But they're all in one place. So when you're walking that location and that area of the church and where you see the gravestones, you're walking upon people's graves. OK, but you wouldn't know it because it's just grass. And that's why when I go went to these locations, I would always show my respect and say, I, I apologise for walking over your graves and, and things like that. I would say that before I started videoing and I, I would leave them certain offerings and things to make sure that they knew that I was there out of respect. Because in all fairness, that church has seen a lot of neg negativity due to the fact of the way that it's built and what, how it faces and so people have used ritual and witchcraft and things up there in a very negative way. There have been people up that go up there just being disrespectful, children and teenagers going over and sitting on people's gravestones and kicking it and mucking around. You know, there's been a lot of really bad stuff that happens up there. Now, when I was reading that paragraph, it was saying about that they didn't really experience very much activity. I think it really does really depend on how open you are and your abilities and how much you really want things to be able to happen and um, be ready and prepared for that. From my experiences of going there, daytime or nighttime, it was very active. There was a lot of energy there. There was a lot of stuff going on. And um, it's most definitely one of the locations that I will 100% put my hands and my feet down and say it's haunted. That there was just no question. Like all of my other locations, I've always been a little bit sceptical and, and stuff, apart from Sherwood Forests. That's another one that's really haunted and I'd like to talk about. Um, but it's only that location and Cold Christmas that I would, in fact, put my ha hands down fully and say, yes, definitely haunted. Because I've had those experiences and I had my team with me that had those experiences. Now, some of these, all of my guys in my in my team that I had, are believers of the paranormal and they've all had some sort of experience in the paranormal field through their life but they were still very open-minded to if the spirits are really around and if they actually stick around well they soon come to realize that they are very much still there when they come on these investigations we had experiences from disembodied uh, voices to full apparition figures walking across the pathway we could see very dark shadows that a, a couple of them had very red glowing eyes like which I would say is obviously from the negative side of things which is where they do the witchcraft and stuff there is a lot of this energy at that location and um, screams a bell can be heard going and there's no bell the bell was nicked uh, way back in the day in the 1700s I think it was it was nicked off the tower but you will still hear that bell go off you hear the horns it's been um, it's been rumored and said that you will see hundreds of men that are soldiers in uniform been seen marching to that location and going through the walls of the church um, you see children constantly like I said, voices, touches, really, really like to interact with your equipment and they like to make sure that you know that they're there, definitely. The negative energies most definitely try to interact with you. They try to um, scare you. There was an experience that I had with my investigator, John, and we was walking down the pathway and we could see this blackness coming up over the pathway and coming all the way down towards us. It was blocking out as it was coming down. It was it was really mad we ended up having to move back and through that I'd had an experience where I felt like my nose and my mouth was being filled up with water and you hear this woman very clearly say be quiet which we believe was the white the white lady the lady in white she wears this very long white dress she flows around on the pathway 
and um, she warns people. It's like she's trying to protect you because obviously she knows the characteristic of the church. And we have physically had an experience with her. There was another experience where I was on the actual grounds of the church with, with John and a few of the other investigators were standing to the back on the pathway and we witnessed this mist of wool come down over the church and in front of us and we both stood there and we looked at each other and you see this white spirit hand come out of the wall like reaching out to us and John went absolutely nuts like he was going nuts in the way that he couldn't believe what he was experiencing he was loving it but he was really freaked out at the same time he'd had experiences where he was hearing voices talking to him in his ears he was being touched he was being pushed growling we were seeing things walking around. There was just so much going on at this location that anyone that turns around and says like, that they've not had experiences there, if you're not really that open, you're probably not going to experience it. But you may still feel a little bit on edge or your hairs might stand up. These are all meant to be signs that were around. But for us, it was very active. And uh, it's most definitely a location that we will never forget. That is for sure. And um, the main history of it is the fact of the children that were meant to have died in the village and some of the adults and um, the fact the church was first built by the rich people um, to put their families into. Um, it's, it's obviously very well known for um, its witchcraft and stuff. There are people that go up there and do that. Um, the Thunder Bridge was known to have been quite a religious village as well. So there's a lot of religious facu faculties there as well. So you've got kind of the good and the bad together, which doesn't really go well together at the best of times. Because you've got the good energies that don't want the negative energy there. And then you've got the negative energy that wants to take the place over and don't want the good spirits there. But it's where they've been laid to rest. So there's a lot of things that goes on at this place. And um, the roads, the roads driving up to it are very creepy. And um, I've heard this story about this strange 1920 car that's been seen on quite a few occasions with this strange couple sitting in it. It never moves. It just one minute is there and then you'll come back and it's there and then you may go there's been a few of them that they've gone to the church they've seen it like this these people did they've come back and it was still there and they've left but there's been people that have gone back again to see if it's still there and this car was sat there as they're coming up the road and then suddenly it disappeared it, it, it just it wasn't there anymore and it didn't move it didn't show no headlights or anything like that there's been people that have witnessed it to the extent that they've seen the same as these other people but when they've gone back for the third time, they've actually seen the car physically disappear in front of their eyes, which to me, I believe that it would have been people from that village at that time that maybe back in in the day, you know, that they would sit there waiting to go to church, waiting to do things. I think they're, they're living out their um, routine. And um, I do believe that there's a lot of residual as well as intelligent haunting at this location. They are very intelligent and very capable of communicating with you, but there are also very, very much residual aspects to this location as well in how life is acted out by the spirits constantly. Some of them relive what happened to them. Um, it, the clear aspects of that is the screaming and the pain that obviously some of these children were enduring when they got this mysterious illness as well as this really bad cold over the uh, Christmas period that cost a lot of their lives. Um, obviously, over over time and over the past, there's been a lot of different sort of ritual stuff been done there, a lot of sacrificing with animals and stuff like that. I'm not sure if people have been sacrificed. Probably back in the day, some they may have been. You know, but there's most definitely deathly screams and sounds of like torture and pain in the voices of them. You very much see the uh, the apparent effects of the negative energies there constantly. They are on you the minute you get there. They know that they're aware of you. They know that you're there and they they make sure you know that they're there. So it's 
it's, it's a crazy place, guys, and it's one of my favourite locations to go to, even though it creeps the hell out of me every single time. It does. It, like, it never fails you when you go there. I would say that my first experience when I went there, it wasn't so much, and, you know, we heard a couple of voices and things like that, but then as we kept going back, the activity got more, and um, obviously with my abilities, I was able to pick up on a lot of of the energies and what they were doing and I could see what they were doing and I could see these negative energies now in our shows we always say that it's very rare to come over demonic spirit it is but when it's things where people have used magic and people have summoned these sort of energies up they will most definitely stay at that location and this location most definitely has negative energies in it that's why I'm very big about the protection and especially at that place because you wouldn't want bad things to happen. So I'm now going to ask Chris if he could just share the uh, the video up into... Thank you. And uh, could you put it to full screen, please, Chris? Thank you. Uh, right, there's going to be five videos, guys. This is the first one. This is in the daytime. This is so that you guys can get to see the church and I explain to you a little bit what I'm feeling and stuff like that then it'll go into all of the other ones that are about eight minutes 12 minutes long there's one for 31 minutes long which is my investigation bit that I want to show you so that's why I said this show may be a little bit longer so let's go and put it on so you can see let me know that you can hear everything guys let me just turn the sound up make sure the sound's right up that's it and put it on Hello people, we are at the Cold Christmas Ruins, as you can see people have our gravestones and everything, this is Sherry from Paranormal World Investigators, this is another place on my list that I've come with Mark and Damon, check it out, I'm already getting presents getting one mail is not very nice so I'm just going to step over here a bit I'm not happy about us being here this is the place Look how amazing it is got the gravestones Quite a creepy place, people. Just doing slow scanning to see if we can get anything. I am now going to get my EVP recorder out, people, and I'm going to do some EVP, see if I can pick anything up. got people walking because it's a lovely day. EVP recording at cold Christmas. Would anybody like to communicate with us? I can pre feel your presence, but would you like to communicate? As you can see, people, the EVP is on. As you can tell, the light's flickering. Would any
anyone like to communicate, talking to the CVP? There are noises, bear in mind people, there's noises from like fields and cattle and everything else. We've got Mark over there. We've got Damon gone somewhere, he's disappeared. Would you like to talk into the CVP? Jerry, for my viewers on Facebook Live, where are we? We are at Cold Christmas. In Hertfordshire. In Hertfordshire. And what an amazing place. This is the first time I've been here as well, so this is all new to me. It's amazing. I hope you're enjoying this, Charles. Would you like to talk? I know that you're able to because I've got some good EVPs on here. As you can see, you've got the gravestones people where um, people would have been buried. This place is meant to be quite notorious for being quite demonic. There's meant to be quite a lot of demonic spirits here. I'm picking up on a few presents. I'd... Not nice ones either. Don't really like you near that church very much. It's a shame you can't get in there anymore, isn't it? Yeah, I believe you have been here, Charles. And I think you did many years ago, a few years back. Does anyone want to communicate? Get him to come forward. Get him to come forward. Come to me and get him to come forward. Tell me what he's saying. Can you speak into here? Tony. Tony, get him to come forward. Talking to this EVP. I can only hear bits of what you're saying. I know that you're not happy with us being here, but we don't bring any problems. We, we mean peace. I'm just going to go round to the back of the building. There's a spirit guiding me round the back. I'm just going to walk round the back. All, as you can see, has been boarded up, people. There's been a lot of stuff that's supposed to have happened here. It's meant to be quite um, known for its paranormal activity. We have to bear in mind we are in the daytime, but it doesn't mean you still can't pick things up. Talk into this EVP. I can hear you, but you need to talk into the EVP.
Is there anyone here that would like to communicate with me? Step forward. Right, I'm just going to turn this recording off for a minute, people, and I'm going to try and get a few more pictures. So I've got a few more pictures. Right, just keep the video up like that because I can just put the next one on. Um, guys are over there, we've got the headquarters on, so you can see them there. Right. Paranormal World Investigators. So, this is the next video. Now, this is the one, because I, when I went to the daytime one, I went there just to try and get a feel for it and to try and understand what was going on and... Um, to try to establish if I wanted to go there on a night investigation because of the information and the stories that I'd heard about the place. Me and my investigation team did decide to go to this investigation. There was Roz, there was Matt, there was John, there was Katie and there were a few other people as well. Um, you will see these throughout. Now, as I said to you before, the videos are a little bit dark but you will see bits in places but that is because it was us just starting out in the paranormal field we didn't have no night vision cameras and that and to be quite honest our, our cameras on our phones weren't that great either so and the video recorders that we had were just basic normal video recorders walking around with torches and uh, so you will hear more than you will see but you will see shapes and things and maybe see something weird like in, in between so I'll put this one on and it will just constantly play through all of these videos. There's five of them. So I'm just going to let them do that and just pause every now and again just to explain to you. So this is the investigation that we've done at the church. This was our first investigation at Cold Christmas in the evening. Enjoy it. Right, recording. It is. Sherry from Paranormal World Investigators. We are at cold Christmas, but we are under the tunnels. We have a device set up, which is a laser pen. Now, what, what happens with this is when a spirit walks through it, it will cancel out the dots that it's showing. We've got EVPs, we've got EMFs, cam recorder. We've been in, look, can you see that? Like the dots moving on the top of the ceiling. Yeah, we've got EMFs, EVPs, like I said, we've got um, temperature, guns. At the moment, guys, there's steam coming out of our mouth, but it isn't actually really that cold, apart from when you, you walk into certain areas. Um, we've just heard a noise, like, beside me and Charlie. We could hear things dropping and that. We've had bits up at the church, uh, voices on the EVP. We've seen spirits presently with our eyes, standing in the bushes, actually doing an intelligent response, waving back. So, come on, guys. Ooh. Can you do this? Right, there's the dots, guys. Can you see that? Right. It's all up on the wall up here as well. The noises you're hearing above are cars going over the, um, over the bridge, guys. But there are noises that you're probably going to hear her here at some point. At the moment, they're getting used to us being here. See the see him moving. We've got We've got Charlie, we've got Matt, we've got Gemma, and we've got Marv in here as well. And myself, hi. Can you come 
to me. Can you come and talk to me? Can you? Make the lights block out. Can you do that, guys? I know that you're near me because you're making my um, smoke come out again. Did you see that? Did you see the doc, the doc counselling now? Talk to us. Can you see those dots moving, babe? The dots are actually moving, like every now and again you're seeing a dot move and black block out. I know there's someone here because I can feel the presence of a male. At the moment I'm feeling a male. He's not very nice. Did you hear that? That Was that you? You don't have to be scared of us, you can show yourself. All we want to do is be able to prove that you're here and that you're real because we know that you are. I swear, like, you keep he I keep hearing noises. I can hear crickets and stuff, guys, but I'm hearing this specific noise every now and again and it's like a, ah! That's so what I keep hearing. Guys are over there, they've got their head torches on, so you can see when they're coming. Can you, guys, sit, if you stand still, you can actually see the, the dots keep cancelling out. Do you know what, it's a shame you can't get over there. It's water. It's water over there, do, um, down here, babe. Haunted. Did you see that? That shadow that's just moved really quickly. No, 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 no. It's coming back. It's coming back. Look, the lights will keep blocking out. Can you see that, guys? Like, look towards this wall. Every now and again, you'll see the lights go off that way and then it comes to like it's walking backwards and forwards. And did you hear that whistle? There was a whistle then. There, look, look, look. Look. See the, the green lights going on and off? That's where they're walking, like, round it. See that? There, look, 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 look. Come here, like, come away out of the light because it's, right? Stand near me, guys, yeah, and watching that corner there, you see the lights every now and again, they block out. That you must have heard that movement, like the shuffling of the feet. Look, 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 all the lights keep going. So they're walking back and forth. Yeah, it's doing it again. It's around that area. I can actually see him walking back and forth, I can physically see him. It looks like he's in some sort of like sort of monk costume, that like is a monk. Come on! I can see you keep walking back and forth, so could do it again. Can you do that again? Can you block the lights out? Can you do that for me, please? 
just one more time. One more time, please. If you can hear my voice. Maybe come to this side. Can you come to this side? Because there's more of them. Hearing like, like a really faint scream. There you go, look, the lights keep cancelling out. Come on! Can you do this? I know that you can because you've walked past it already. Keep blocking the lights out, that's what you're supposed to do. I wonder if I can get any further down. Come on guys. Can you do it? You've got orbs in the pictures again, bud. Yeah? No, 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 no. Those lights there keep blocking out at the bottom. It's a shame you can't walk over there. I bet you look bold. Right. I think I'm going to do some pendulum work. No, 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 yeah, no, 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 that light, that yeah, light thing, that's water, no, 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 there's a light there, look, yeah, something's there, yeah. something's there, yeah. something's there, yeah. something's there, yeah. something's there. Yeah. No, 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 yeah. that, oh, it's a cat, <laughs> that ain't a cat, it looks coming. a bit weird for a cat, it's a fox by the looks of it, we just had a fox go by, guys, and he was going through, I think he's probably wondering what the lights and bits are, he's probably like a bit intrigued. You just see these random eyes just coming towards yeah. us. What the hell is that? <laughs> Ouch, sorry. Right, so guys, here's the pendulum. Yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get them to communicate. Is there anyone here? If you're here, make the pendulum go circular. If you're male, go back and forth. If you're female, go round. So you're a female. Are you a child? Go back and forth for a child. 
go circular for an adult. So you're a child, so you're a female child. Do you like coming here because you like to hide here because you feel safe? If you feel safe hiding here, go back and forth. Or if you just come here to visit, go circular. Okay, so you're a child, you're a female, and you come here because you want to feel safe. So you hide here. Is there any other spirits with you? If there is other spirits with you, make it go circular. Or if you're on your own, then go back and forth. Okay, so there's other spirits. Have we got good spirits with us or have we got bad spirits with us or both? If you've got, we've got both spirits here, go back and forth. If we've just got evil spirits here apart from you, the little girl, then go circular. Right, so we've got demonic spirits here. Which I, as you can see, my hand isn't moving. Guys, look, my hand's not moving. Does somebody else want to do the recording? Like video? Because yeah, then they yeah. can see, they can see that it ain't me in the film. Like, I need to put another battery in them. Give me two seconds. I need this. So we're walking back over to the box, guys. I'm just going to get um, some more batch, more bits for the camera because I want to record me doing some pendulum work, guys. So I'm just going to take some batteries over with me, and in a minute I can change them. When it runs out, it runs out. But Let's walk back over to here, guys. We're just going back over to where the others are. The box is there, so the box will be safe. There isn't. Don't know where the ball. The ball's gone. What was that? What was that? Did you just drop something? Did you hear that clank? That. No, that was over there because you even responded to that, didn't you? It was like yeah. something dropped. You hear it? Yeah, something dropped. <laughs> yeah. I think I've just got an orb go past you two guys. Do you know what? These Duracell will normally last ages. They're being drained. The batteries are literally being drained. Um, I have got one bar left on it at the minute. Um. Marvin. Alright. So if we just keep that going until it actually runs runs out and then I'll put the new batteries in. Alright then. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just get us um asking a few questions and getting the pendulum. Yeah. Needed. See with this, like when you're using it, the energy goes into the uh, energy into the pendulum, yeah. Mm -hmm. So 
when you're holding it, you can actually normally feel it pulling in there, so yeah. it's slow easy, which it feels quite heavy at the moment. So it's sitting still, even when it's windy, it don't move. Mm-hmm. Is there anyone here that would like to communicate with us? I can see you making the lights go out. Is there anyone here? Make the company go circle up. Oh, it's calling. That's it. That's brilliant. Are you fem- Are you the female that we was just talking to a minute ago? If you are, go circle up. If you're not, go back and forth. You're someone. I'm talking to someone else. Are you one of the demonic spirits? Go back and forth for yes. Go circle up for no. Okay, so you're another good spirit. Are you a child? Circle up for yes. Are you an adult? Back and forth. Are you male? If you're male, go circular. Can you go circular? If you're female, go back and forth. Okay, let's have a in between. This is a bit of a circle and back and forth. So is there more than one of you? If there's more than one of you trying to communicate with this, go back and forth. Okay, good. So are you wanting help? Are you wanting help? Back and forth for yes, circle up for no. Okay, so you don't want the help to move on. Are you connected to anyone that is buried in the grave near the church? Go back and forth for yes, go circle up for no. Okay, so you're connected to someone that's buried in the You see this, come back forward to it. That's it. Are you happy with us being here? If you're happy with us being here, go back and forth. If you're not happy with us being here, go circle. So you're happy with us being here, that's good. Is there any spirits here that are not happy with us being here? Circle up if you're not happy with us being here. This is other spirits. Okay. Okay. Um, are you just a evil spirit of a, someone that used to be human, or are you demonic? If you're demonic, go back and forth. If you're just a human spirit, go circle up. Demonic. Um, Do you mean us harm? If you mean us harm, go back and forth. If you don't mean us harm, go circular. So you mean harm? Why do you mean harm to us? Why don't you like us being here? Why do you want to hurt us? You want to hurt us by saying something, go back and forth, you want to hurt us physically. Physically, then go circle up. We're not sure, okay. Um, what I do, guys, you need to be nice. I'm going to give you over to Gemma. And she's going to look at you. Ask a question to ask it in here because that's to say it out loud, it will respond. You'll feel the pull as well. Is there anyone near Gemma that wants to connect with her? Can you feel the pull? Yeah, I can feel it. Yep. Is there someone that likes Gemma and wants to talk to Gemma? Go back and forth. Mm-hmm. 
Are you a good spirit? If you're a good spirit, go back and forth. If you're not a good spirit, go to circle up. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're not a good spirit, but do you mean Gemma any harm? Because if you do, I'm gonna take the pendulum back. Do you mean Gemma any harm? If you go back and forth for yes, go circle up for no. Yeah, so you're not channeled or anything. Okay. Travagon. Travagon? Yeah. Right, let me take the camera so you can. What you do is hold it like that, it will I'm going to stop the, it moving, and then once you get hold of it, it won't move unless they're moving it. And you'll feel it pulling. Is there anyone that would like to talk to Marvin? If there is anyone that would like to talk to Marvin, make the pendulum move. Go back and forth. Can you feel the pulling? Can you feel it? The pulling. Yeah. Can you make it move faster? Can you make it go more? Is this a good spirit or a bad spirit? Good spirit goes circle, bad spirit goes sideways. Come on, guys, because you've been doing it for us. That's it. Mm. I'd say that is back and forth, isn't it? Mm. So that's not a good spirit because I said back and forth for bad, yeah. circle for good. So we've got another negative, probably the same spirit, to be quite honest, guys, but... Do you mean Malcolm, uh, Mar I keep calling him Malcolm, I've got Malcolm in my head, so I might be trying to channel with somebody called Malcolm, that might be what it is, Marvin, if you want to talk to M Marvin, <laughs> if you want to talk to Marvin, go back and forth, okay, yep, so you want to talk to Marvin, do you mean Marvin any help, um, any harm, back and forth for yes, circle for no, Do you want to give it over, or are you feeling comfortable, yeah? Are you the monk that I see in the cloak on the other side of the water? If you are, go back and forth. If you're not, go circular. It's stop. No, it's going back and forth. Oh. That, that is kind of doing both, isn't it? Yeah. If you're the monk that I see to the other side of this area, go back and forth. If you're not, go circular. Yeah. It's going back and forth, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So we've got a monk. He's demonic. So that is uh, not good. Circular, no. Now it's going circular. So you're getting someone else channeling. Is this a child? Circular for yes, back and forth for no. Are you a child? Yes. So you're a child. Are you female or are you male? If you're female, go circular. If you're male, go back and forth. Right, so you're a male and you're a child. Are you between five and ten? If you're between 5 and 10 in age, go back and forth. If you're not, go circular. Okay, so you are between 5 and 10. From what I'm picking up, I'd say that you're 8. Are you 8? And is your name Jasper? Jasper, if you're 8 and your name is Jasper, go back and forth. If that is not you, then go circular. Jasper, are you eight? And are you the one that is communicating with the pendulum? If you are, go circular. If it's someone else, go back and forth. Circular. So we've got Jasper, he's eight, he's a child, no problem, he's safe. Because it is known, guys, that some um, malevolent and demon demon spirits will portray themselves as children to try and get the living to communicate with them. But this is definitely a child, I can feel it, I know the, the telltale signs. This is Jasper, guys, he's eight, he's here. Are you stuck, Jasper? Do you need help? 
Jasper, if you need help, go circular, or if you're happy being here, keep going back and forth. Okay, so you're happy that you're here. Are you from the church area or are you from here? If you're from here, go circular. If you're from the church area, go back and forth. It's a bit of both, isn't it? Okay, um, okay. Was you from here? If you're from here, keep going circular. If you're not, you're from the church, go back and forth. Yeah, no, from here. Okay, um, did you lose your life here, Jasper? If you lost your life here, darling, can you go back and forth? If you didn't lose your life here and you lost it on that um, nasty Christmas day, go back and forth. If you didn't die on Christmas day and you're just another child, go circular. Okay, so it's a child that he's, he's buried in. He did die on Christmas. Okay, so we've got Jasper Ain. He died on Christmas. And you can feel the energy, can't you? Like being pulled. That is where they're pulling to make make it move. Because that's how they communicate. It's physical evidence instead of the EVPs, which is a lot better. But I do prefer my EVPs as well. I do like them. And it stopped. Do you want to start again? Do you, do you guys want to take a little break, have a cigarette? You sure? You're enjoying this, aren't you? Come on, guys. Can you make, manipulate it again? Make it move. Come on. Make it move really fast. Show M Marvin that you can make it go really fast. Show him how clever you are. Come on, in a circle, really fast. Faster, can you go faster? Faster, come on. Come on, guys. That's it, keep going. See, look, it's shaking now, look. Trying to channel. It starts to shake when it's trying to channel. Um. Well, guys, there is something happening on our pendulum. It's moving. We're getting contact with some spirits, children and adults and demonic. So um, Marvin has it at the moment, and even he's been getting some movements off of it. What I am going to do in a minute is I'm going to turn the, the thing off for a couple of minutes because I haven't had a good and I need to do it for great explaining me because they're all kind of jumping me and that. So I need to have a, a little break. I know when enough's enough for a minute. Yeah. So I'll end up being here and then you'll end up seeing me like get possessed, which you don't want to see. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's when I go crazy. Mm. It's not crazy like that, I'd kill you, but. <laughs> Charlie's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys. Well, we'll stop. Oh, that was a bright light there. Going to stop this. Mm -hmm. So in that one, I was at the church with myself with Matt and we had Gemma and Marvin with us and they were believers but they'd never experienced or been on an investigation and we decided to take them along with us and they had some very phenomenal experiences with this and it's, it's definitely an evening that they would never forget and now moving on to the next video and um Soon there will be, obviously, like I said, this show is going to go over a little bit more than it normally does, but it is really important to get the whole stuff out so you can hear the EVPs and hear all the stuff. So I hope you've enjoyed. Back to the, the next bit. Positive movement. 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 Positive movement.
in this video there is myself, Matt, John, Austin, Katie, Jem, um, um, and a few other people. Like you, you'll hear them speaking and that, and um, you'll hear them saying that they're, they're getting a bit creeped out. Again, Austin was my cousin, and um, we had a few of the other people that come along with us a few times. So this one was a really interesting as one as well. Oh, look, there's a human bone. Look. <laughs> Although they've got some mysterious illness that can kill them all. Yeah, well, these things are creeping me out, man. Well, I'll just get the I'm going to the door the okay? We better take some photos on No, man. Trying to make some contact. On this video, I am showing you the EVPs that we got from a few of the investigations. There are only a few. I did have a load of EVPs and loads of different pictures and that, but a lot of them have been lost on my other laptop when it got broke. And there were some really cool um, pictures, but there are going to be a few in the video after this one. So I hope that you do enjoy. This is the third video. There's two two more, I think. Yeah, this one and one more.
campaign, Sherry the leader from Paranormal World Investigators, just here. I've just done my first video, which is on EVPs that we've got from the last eight months, that investigations that we've done since we've been up and running properly. Um, I've just done Chick Sands. We're now moving on to cold Christmas EVPs. It is the 3rd of September 2017. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to come up to some good EVPs on the cold Christmas EVP section now. Put them onto a video. I will talk at the end of this one. I just wanted to get into the second lot. I'll do a bit of talking at the end in this one. So I'm just going to pause for a minute, guys. Find an EVP and I'll be back. Thanks. Hey guys, in this first EVP, I am contacting with a young girl called Anna. I ask if she is with us and a strange noise that sounds a bit like somebody doing a sis at you, like, Psst. that's what it sounds like, guys. So I'm just going to put this up. I am now just going to go and see if I can find any other ones. I will be back in a minute, guys. I hope that you are hearing these clearly as well, because um, this is my first time. I am going to go over the videos to make sure I can hear them. Be back in a minute. Hi, guys. Back again. In this second EVP, it to me sounds like a very faint voice saying die. So I'll let you guys... Um, have a guess on what you think they're saying. Okay. Number two EVP. We're at Cold Christmas. That was the second EVP. Hey guys, back again. Also, um, another EVP from Cold Christmas. This one sounds like another Yes, it's quite faint because there is me and my investigator, John, talking through it. On this evening, it was very lively there. There was a lot of good EVPs caught and visual um, evidence as well. So this place is really, really haunted um, by good and bad spirits. So this is another EVP, guys. And like I said, it sounds like... It's a male spirit saying yes or yeah. Came over me and it's just tingling. You want to walk me back now? I'm happy if you want to, yeah. Okay. Okay, so we're still still walking down the same path. Hey guys, next EVP again, obviously, is Cold Christmas. This one, there is like some sort of whisper, but I can't make out what the um, spirit is trying to say. And then you hear what sounds like a bit of like laughing, like a sniggle sort of laugh. Like, <laughs> let me know what you think, guys. That is my other EVP, just carrying on guys, because I remember on this EVP there was quite a lot of things, there was a lady that says be quiet, um, you hear a growl, so I'm just going to find these ones so that I can put these on this video as well, be back in a minute guys, I hope you do like these videos. This next EVP goes on for a couple of minutes guys, because there's a lot that's going on in it. We can't explain what it is, but to us it does sound like spirits that are whispering among each other. Um, for some reason, my eye on this side keeps getting a white light going in it. I don't know why. So I'm going to let you listen to it, guys, and you let me know what you think. It sounds pretty demonic to me, if I must say. Going around the other way, that's what they're saying to each other. I can hear them saying it now. Oh. That whisper of them sounded right, it was right in my ear. 
Like it sounded real close up. So, we're getting That's some double. interest from some demonic spirits. And I've just heard them saying, shall we go down to the scare room? Shall we come out? And so she's touched my head. I heard that in my left ear then. So she's touched my head. Right up in the air, they're nowhere near our heads. I heard that whisper in my left ear as we turned. I keep hearing this whispering, and then now it's like they're coming round. Opening negative, what we've just said. That, that, that was more emotional when we first came through. Right, guys, yeah, so that was that. There is another bit in the CVP, but I'm just trying to find it. I think the light I'm getting in my eye is actually from the light on my camera. I'll be back in a minute, guys. In this next EVP, you hear what sounds like a war horn. There is no train station around the area that we was at, so there's no way that a train would have been heard. But you hear what I clearly think sounds like a war, war um, horn, and my team members also think this is what it sounds like as well. So I'm just going to let you guys listen quickly. You do hear us freaking out a bit, a lot's going on by this time. The next EVP, guys, is the famous growl that we get. I say that I can hear growling and then you hear it. Gonna see if I've got another one. In this next EVP, guys, you hear something saying my name after I ask if it's Anna, the little girl that we were in contact with at Cold Christmas. Here it is. Is that you, Anna? Anna, the Anna? EVP. In this next EVP, I get affected by a spirit and um, I witness and have um, water coming from my nose and that. I don't know why. There was no reason for that to be happening. Then you hear a lady's voice, which I believe is the lady in white that we see on the path that cold Christmas, telling us to be quiet, warning us so that we didn't have the, um, the less negative... Um, feelings and entities that we had around us at that time. I think she was trying to protect us from them. So here's the next EVP, guys. You know we're here to help you. Oh my god, I don't know what's happening to it. There's all water flying out of my mouth. Hey guys. So yeah, Sherry from Paranormal World Investigate is the leader. Um, I'm at the end of the EVPs for that um, session of EVPs and investigation for Cold Christmas. Um, like I said, it was very active that night. There was a lot of um, stuff being seen, heard, um, touches and some amazing EVPs. Um, some of them quite can't quite make out, didn't really want to make you listen through some of the EVPs all the way through because there was a lot of that whispering, which sounds like whispering anyway to us, going on and off. And now just the last um, video, which is some pictures of cold Christmas and some of the stuff that we got in the pictures. This was done on a digital camera, so nothing was altered. We do not alter our footage or our evidence. It is what you see, what is what you get. We're not one of these that put editing in or do any of that sort of thing. 
and obviously the video itself has been made because it was done by my partner he just put like the beginning then put the evps and stuff in and the pictures and whatever so enjoy this last video I just want to show you here guys because this is a really really amazing capture this was done on the digital camera i'm just going to circle the area that the two spirits are standing there are three spirits actually so over here you can see the yellow dress this is anna she's sitting on a log here then you've got two young fellas just standing here You've got one that's in a black suit that I would say is more of the olden day fashion. He's wearing a suit that they would bury you in. And then here you're seeing a boy that is in an army camouflage puff jacket with Wellington boots that are green. Can you see that? And there's his legs and his arm and his, his head with his hood up. And then you've got the more old fashioned young boy standing there. They're right next to a gravestone. This was caught on a digital camera. This is real. This has not been fastened with or faked. This is real. And you've got Anna over here. Going back to the video. <laughs> So that, guys, was my investigations that I'd done at Cold Christmas. I'd been there about three or four times with my investigation team, and we had actually taken people that were into the paranormal but never had any experiences. And believe me, they left this location believing even more than they already did. This place was a very active place, absolutely amazing evidence in pictures and in EVPs, and just through general contact with the energies. As I said, there was good and negative here. There is a very sad and very pr prominent story behind this church, as I've explained to you in the video. 
there's been a lot of things that are not very nice that have been done at this church as well, which is why there are negative energies. This, in my opinion, is one of my most favourite places to investigate because you do get some phenomenal activity and stuff. So I really do hope that you did enjoy this um, this this stream. I just quickly want to do one more thing. I was doing a show, uh, doing a video the other day. I was playing on my drums and I was doing my um, recording. And when listening back before wanting to put it up onto YouTube, I'd noticed that somebody had come through a female voice saying, I miss you. I have through talking to Chris that's in the room and a medium that's named Lisa found out that it is in fact Misty Cat, which is one of our very dedicated fam that passed away just over a year ago. Now, she said that she missed me. She goes, I miss you. And you'll hear this very clear in this 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 video right at the beginning at 44 seconds long. And then there's a, a voice message that I sent to my partner where she, I'm talking about her and saying I think it's her. And she actually clarifies it's her by saying yes. So I just want to read put that in really quickly as well, because I really do feel I want to get that out on this show. So this is Misty Cat responding to the music. She used to love me playing music. She always used to be very supportive of me. Me and her were very close so this is her communicating for the first time ever and i've had experiences like that i felt that she's around but i've never been 100 percent sure so here it is go back right here we go using my hands apparently there's a certain technique that you have to use to be able to do your hands which is uh, interesting. So here it goes. Your it says I miss you. I put my finger up when it's going to do it. Just put that back slightly. I miss you. So that was the EVP that she said to me. Now, I was not interacting or doing anything paranormal. I was just literally playing some music. It came in my head for some reason, and I wanted to put that on the drum. So I started playing that. And that's what came through. And then I was talking to my partner. Let me just find the voice clip quickly. Uh, I was talking to my partner and um, saying that I thought it was her and I know who it was and everything. And then she clarifies it by saying yes. Um, it was absolutely amazing. It's on this one. So here we go. I think I know who it is. It's my angel, Misty Cat. The medium was picking up on some stuff, and this is how she died. She taps. It's Misty. And she does it in a minute. She used to speak all the time, really, really close. I remember yes. finding out that she died when I was on a stream. And I, I so... I wanted to put that in there as well. So I had communication with one of my very good friends off of here, which really, really put my mind at rest. And I know that she's OK in that. But obviously the main show was to do with Cold Christmas, one of my most best places to investigate. And I've been there, like I said, several times with my team right at the beginning when we first started out. And I would love to go back there. And I really do hope that you enjoyed all of the videos and hearing the EVPs that we've got. These were only some of them because, like I said, sadly, some of my pictures and stuff actually got lost. But the pictures and stuff I really wanted you guys to be able to hear and see and the EVPs to hear were in these videos, which is really good. A absolutely phenomenal place. Very, very mixed energy and most definitely a place that is active and I would say is very haunted and you hear a lot of things please go back over the video and watch it over you'll probably enjoy it you'll probably hear things that I haven't heard everybody's got different characteristics in the paranormal that they can pick up on 
So I hope that you did enjoy the show, guys. I hope that it's made you see another side to the paranormal and that it can be very exciting to do. But also do take it seriously. Do be safe and always make sure you use protection and stuff, especially when you go to locations like this. So I hope that you enjoyed the show. To all of our TV presenter people that put us out there, to all of our radio to our supporters, our sponsors, and to obviously our fam in the room, to Bold and Bonkers, to DNTV, to all of the networks that stream us out and help us to do this show and all of our other shows. A big thank you and lots of love, light and respect. But from me, I'm going to say goodnight and be safe. And I will see you all very, very soon. And stay spooky. And remember that when you go to sleep, those spirits creep and they're always around you. And bless be and a merry parting. Whoa!